What's up, everyone? I'm Offending Commit, and uh, since the new Spring Update is out on the test servers, the experimental branch, I'm going to show you how to back up your decom save uh, just to make sure that you are you're safe. A um, little bit about me. I'm a DevOps engineer, and I do some crazy stuff in my day-to-day -day job. So I'm going to show you some cool little tricks about how to back up your decom save and make sure everything's all good. There's a couple of ways to get to the folder, okay? The first thing we're going to do is I'm going to show you how to get to it from Steam. I don't have Steam open. I'm going to go here. I'm just going to go right to my library. We got Dinkum, and we can... I'm going to go here. I'm going to go to Browse Local Files. If you see this, yeah, this is confusing, right? You're like, where are my save files? Well, these are the Dinkum files for... The game itself this is how the game is running but to access your game saves you're going to type this in percent sign app data percent sign and then you're just going to hit enter Ta -da! now we're in the app data roaming folder but this isn't exactly where the game saves are so we're going to go back one level just to the app data folder and this is a folder in windows that has lots of exactly how it sounds application data we're going to go to the local low folder, and then there's James Binden. Underneath this folder is the Dinkum folder. Now, here we have all of our game saves. Yours might look slightly different, and that's just because, I'll be honest, I'm a little crazy. Um, these here, slot 0, slot 1, these are your game saves files. Like, these folders here, this will probably be have like your first island, maybe a second island, and you can have... I think up to 99 islands. So how to back these up? Very simple. We're gonna hold down shift and actually we're gonna hold down control, sorry, and click on these to kind of have them highlighted. See that? We're gonna right click on them and we're gonna copy. Now, once we have those copied, you can go to any spot you want. If you want to, if you have Google Drive installed, you can actually put them on Google Drive. You can put them anywhere you want. Um, for the sake of this tutorial, though, we're going to go to our desktop. We're going to right click. We're going to go to new folder. We're going to say Dinkum saves. Once we go here, we can right click and we can paste. Ta -da! Now I have my Dinkum saves located here. Now, that's one way to do it. What I like to do in my job anyways is... I'm gonna go ahead and make a folder here, a new folder in this subfolder. And as of this recording, it is the 13th. So 031323. I like to add a date to it. So same thing, gonna paste them. And you can do that as many times as you want to make backups of your save and you're safe. So if we go back to the app data folder, sitting back here. Uh, I'll show you some, but you can see here also that I have created a uh, backup files within this folder. So another thing I can do is if you have 7-zip installed, go 7-zip, add to archive. The uh, archive format doesn't necessarily matter, but I can say backup 03-13-23, and then there's another backup. What's cool about this, okay, is that Steam... When it's doing the cloud saves, it's going to use everything that's in this folder. So my cloud save uh, for Steam will back up everything here. Um, yeah, as you can see, this is very, very tiny, right? So if you want to, you can, uh, you can make the backups in this folder, and those will be backed up to Steam. Now, one of the best things you can do me speaking as a DevOps engineer, is to test, right? So you've backed up your saves to restore your saves. We're going to go back to my Dinkum saves folder, and we're going to do exactly the opposite. I'm going to copy them here. I go back to my Dinkum folder, and I'm going to say paste. Now Windows is going to say, whoa, you have a whole bunch of stuff with the exact same name. If you are comfortable with this restoration, right? You know exactly what date you're restoring to. Just hit replace. And just like that, you've restored your game save. Um, 
one more reminder is, as you know, Dinkum saves whenever you sleep. So, you know, as a test, make sure you start up your game save and test it out. And if everything looks good, I like to go ahead and do, I guess you could call it a sanity sleep to save and, uh, and update those files. If it doesn't look good, you can safely back out and maybe try a different day to restore. Um, the goal though is to make sure that you back up often as this is an early access game. Um, James Binden is really good about integrity when it's, and when it comes to his game saves, but you never know. Some things can happen and it's good to be on the safe side. All right. This is a commit and hopefully that helps backing up your save.